Philip Simpson, AKA Phil Fresh, the Billionaire. Born and raised in Detroit, east side, seven mile. You know, I would throw up the seven, but I don't, you know, you know. Grazie. From moment to moment. Thank you. And now, I attended DSA um, for School of Art and Design, um, pardon me, School of Arts, but I did art and design as a major, visual arts. And um, those four years of my life was, was uh, pretty superb. DSA was live, yeah. I've been painting and drawing my whole life. Um, my mother was a huge help with, with that. Uh, I think one of my earliest drawings is at 10 years old. I still have it, so I can see where I come from as my skills advance over the years. So um, I took coloring serious as a kid. You know, I was probably the first out of my family to really color inside the lines and, and really get busy and try to save my coloring. So it's no, it's no. Uh, I don't think it's by mistake that I'm doing art for the rest of my life. I think it was a gift. Uh, the first name for this company was Smiling Faces. But, you know, we all know the song, like, Smiling Faces, uh, they tell lies, whatever the song gets. So I'm like, man, dang, Smiling Faces kind of got a negative theme to it. I got to come up with something else. And, and uh, the Smile brand was kind of birthed out of that, me looking for a new name. I do call it a smile movement. I'm all about smiling and spreading joy. Our whole mission is that we can change the world one smile at a time. Uh, it's one world, one smile. That's what we believe in. Um, and so the brand started 2013. Uh, been doing it about three years. The store's only been around for four months. It was, I just wanted something simple that every race, every age can love. You know, the strangest thing, uh, the DIA has been here for years, right? And I still meet people that have never been and have no idea what it is. But as an artist, I frequent the DIA, the Detroit Institute of Arts, often to get inspiration. And it's been one of my favorite things as a kid. Heidelberg Project, um, good friends with Janine and Tyree. Um, but when I first seen the Heidelberg Project, ninth, 10th grade, I thought it was junk. And I thought I knew it was art, but I'm like, this is crazy. This is, what is this stuff? And then I got old and I realized this dude is amazing. Like, I frequent the Heidelberg Project just as much as anything else, just to make sure I get inspired by what someone created and, and how nature plays a part on rusting certain items. And, and so, uh, yeah, I, I would like to think those two places I frequent the most um, in, in as far as inspiration for the art. Whenever I talk about Detroit, I never want it to seem like we're 100% different than any other city because, you know, I've been to a few cities and they got the same thriving energy, right? But we have something special. Detroit offers a, a lot of amazing brands, right? There's a lot of amazing brands that offer amazing graphics. Um, and our graphics are simple. Well, the majority of our shirts just say smile, but outside of the graphic, it's the emotional attachment to the brand that I want people to, to, to to, uh, to follow through with. I would like to think Detroit as a whole is improving, but it's, it's kind of clear that um, downtown, midtown, New Center area is getting a lot of funding, getting a lot of large buildings. But um, like I said, from the Seven Mile Hoover area, Osborne neighborhood, there's a lot of development happening that may not get the news every day, but there's a community center that I work with a lot called the Matrix Center. There's a lot of great after school programming, great evening programming for the youth. So I would like to think every inner city Brightmore from the west all the way down to Grandma Rosedale. They have their own thing happening. It just may not get all the news attention. Detroit inspires me in so many ways. Um, you know, one thing I love to do is meet new people. And that's, and whether that's an associate of someone or it's a complete stranger, uh, you never know how you can be inspired by their story. Um, one thing that inspires me here is that the small business sector is thriving like none other. Um, there's so many small business incubators that can help your dreams go further. Inspiration comes from the people of Detroit. Inspiration comes from the small businesses, like I said before. I hope the, the Smile brand inspires Detroit by just staying positive because we have enough negative things to, that consume our mind. Um, sometimes I turn on the news and and I just want to, you know, turn it off sometimes. But what I think about is all the great things that's happening in our community. You know, I would put a lot of pressure on myself if, if I, um, you know, wanted to save Detroit. I just think I want to just make sure the youth have something to smile about. Um, and if I have the opportunity to save Detroit, that'd be a huge blessing. 
I hope that my artwork, from painting smiles to wearing smiles on my shirt, it just encourages happiness. All right, so look, um, I'm one of the people that's addicted to social media right now. I, and I'm always searching for likes. Even how, even how confident I am at 33 years old, if I don't get enough likes on something, sometimes I doubt myself, like, dang, man, my painting may not be that sweet like I thought it was. Or, dang, maybe my gallery ain't thriving as like I should, because I want these likes, I want people to see it. So I wrote something, and, and, and uh, I just want people to hear it, and I haven't got a chance to perform it yet. So it's like, uh, I pledge allegiance to Kathy and Regis. Social media got me thinking, like, who is Jesus? Christmas Day, just a day for me to buy new shoes. Easter, just a day for me to rock my new suit. Hallelujah. I pray I get a thousand likes on this picture I post. And if I don't, I may go postal. Walking in UAW, local and go local. Lead a scene, burn rubber, no Rick and Roro. -ro. When I'm from the popo screaming, follow me on Twitter. And don't forget to repeat. I play my song and repeat. Maybe the hook should be, follow me on Twitter. And if I can blow out my brains, I did it all for the fame. My tombstone right next to my name and read, follow me on Twitter. That's it.